Harbor Heights, California at the Hillcrest Congressional Church at the 52nd Annual Festival of Fine Arts. Through the final weekend of February, artists come annually and showcase their work. The diverse art displays hold many things from paintings and murals to ceramics and jewelry. I sat down and talked to Leslie Stone, silhouette artist. So when did you first start doing silhouettes? In 1996. And what like initiated you to get into the silhouette art? Well, I was in Japan painting watercolor portraits at Tokyo Disneyland for a special event. And when that ended, I wanted to stay on in the country, so I taught myself how to cut silhouettes. Cool. Um, how long does it take to do the average silhouette? For About two minutes. Two minutes? Yep, you just sit there, I look at you, and I cut. I also chatted with Wendy DeLeon, an artist who creates ceramic pieces, but with a twist. So what inspired you to begin doing this type of art? Well, I just, my parents wouldn't let me take painting classes when I was in high school, because they, they said the painting teachers weren't qualified really. They, I come from a family of fine artists, so I was allowed to take ceramics classes, and I just fell in love with it. I love the way clay smells. I love the forming and, and the physicality of throwing. I, I, the pieces that are behind us, I've thrown most of them on the potter's wheel. And I've, I've been, so I've been making things out of clay my whole adult life. Um, and I just love it. I watched closely as Wendy showed us how to execute her fine art. 1800 degrees. Well, it's almost ready. Give it this, see, it's, I'm going to pull it out. Okay, so this is very hot. Don't try this at home. Okay, how would you describe this type of art? I know it's ceramics, but like, how would you describe the whole burning process and everything? Well, the firing for what what I have on display here, all the black and white pieces are raku pottery, and it's based on the ancient tea ceremony uh, in Japan, where. A geisha would have a, a very honored guest. She would glaze a bowl, a tea bowl, and these are tea bowls down here, and fire it and then clean it out and, and then prepare it and prepare tea and serve it to them like this in a, in a vessel that she had made in their honor. As you can see, this festival's variety of art will never cease to disappoint the crowds. This is Kristen Bristol of Channel 12 R News, signing off.